Hey guys, I hope you're doing well today. I am bringing you a haul and these are some products that I picked up throughout June, July, and a little bit of August as well. And some of these products I did pick up when I was at Lisa's house a few weeks ago and unfortunately I was having camera issues then as well and I could not film a video but she actually does have a get ready with me with her and I on her channel so I'll link that up in the cards right here. I had so much fun hang hanging out with her and I can't wait to hang out with her again. So I have a decent amount of makeup here. I did some shopping within the last few months and it is a collective haul so I didn't buy this all at one time but I do have some palettes I have some stuff from Ulta I have an influencer product and some fun stuff here so I'm excited to share it with you so first I'm gonna start off with the influencer products that I have I was sent the new milk flex foundation stick and this was just like the promo card it does have a nice variety of shades it looks like it has 36 shades and they run from pretty fair to pretty deep as well I definitely think they could go deeper but there are a nice variety here I just think they could have some more additions on the deeper side but I'm also not a person of color so I can't really comment too much on that but I was actually sent two shades of the milk makeup stick foundation and this one is in the shade fair and I like the packaging on here it does feel like pretty heavy and then it does roll up like a normal stick foundation and this is what it looks like and this is my shade in fair I haven't actually opened up this one yet this is another shade that they sent me in Shell, so I'll open it up in a second to compare. But this is actually the foundation that I'm wearing today. I have a different concealer underneath my eyes, but I've really been liking it. I feel like this is the best shade match for my actual face. It's still a little bit light for me because my chest is a little bit darker right now, so it's not a perfect match, but I think it does work nicely on my skin. So that is a swatch of the fair color. And I just pulled out the Shell color out of the packaging, and this is what that one looks like. I will give a swatch... I am seeing that the fair one is definitely more pink, and I actually think the shell one will probably work better for me. So this is the shell one, when more yellow toned, and then the fair is more pink toned. I'm currently wearing fair, but I haven't tried this one on my skin yet. I do wish it was a little bit more dewy, but that's just a personal preference. I think it is more of like a satin finish, but I have been enjoying it so far. And now I'm going to move on to a little friend mail package that I got from my friend Love Heatherette here on YouTube. I'll have her linked down below. And she sent me a really cute package, mostly full of samples and like hair care items, but I just thought I would show the makeup items because it's more fun. So she sent me a little mini lip gloss from Buxom. I believe this is in the shade Dolly, so it is like a mauve pink shade with some shimmer. And it's really pretty. I really enjoy the Buxom lip glosses. She actually sent me the shade Celeste a few months ago, I think. And I used up that sample already. It is the same size as this, so it's pretty small. But it's really nice, and I like how cooling they are on the lips. So here is a swatch of the Buxom Dolly mini lip gloss. And this will probably go on a project soon. But I really like this. I like the color of it a lot. I'm really into lip glosses here, so that was fun to try out and then she also sent me a sample of the benefit roller lash mascara I'm not going to open this one yet because I don't really need a mascara right now I'm currently using one and I don't need to open any right now but benefit isn't cruelty free but I didn't purchase this so I figured I would just use it up and try it out and then some other products that were gifted to me by a friend and this friend was Lisa I ended up visiting her I think like two weeks ago, we live about two hours away from each other. I'm in Pennsylvania, she's in New Jersey, so I make the drive over there sometimes, and we always have a lot of fun together, and she did gift me some items as well, and I do have a couple items that I will haul from when we hung out. But one of the items that she gave me was so sweet of her. It is the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadows Like a Boss Eyeshadow Palette, and I know she really likes this palette, but I guess she just had others that she likes better. And I don't have much experience with Violet Voss Eyeshadows, but this is what the palette looks like. So it has a nice variety of neutrals, warm tones, it has some colors down here, they're more like muted colorful shades. And I have a Violet Voss palette that I'm going to show you that I recently picked up, but I just don't have a ton of experience. I actually haven't used this palette yet, I've been trying to focus on my Pan That palette. I just ended up swatching a few of the colors that caught my eye, so it looks like this one is Work, the more burgundy shade. Smart AF is the center shade, which is kind of very similar to like Colourpop's Glass Bowl, the color in the Wet and Wild Comfort Zone original palette, like duochrome color. And then this one is Extra, which is like a muted olive green. And I love these types of greens. I just love green eyeshadow in general. I am wearing like a yellow, gold, and green look today. And I think it is fun. But I'm excited to try this palette. I have not used it yet, so I'm excited to see how this performs. And then I also got this sample of the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. And it is super pretty. I have used this on my cheeks before. I'm not wearing it today, but... 
It is a liquid highlighter and it is so intense. I'm just going to swatch a little bit for you right here. So this is what it looks like just like applied to my hand but not blended out yet. So I'm going to blend it out really quick. And it's just super intense. I know these were really popular a few years ago. So that's it a little bit more blended out because I do have other swatches on my hand. But it's super intense and metallic. And it does look really nice on the cheeks as well. I'm wondering how this would perform mixed in with foundation. But so far I've just used it once so I don't have a huge idea of how I like it yet. But it was pretty the first time that I wore it. And this is actually an item that I had purchased and I decluttered to her, but then she just did a huge declutter because she moved recently, and then I got this back from her. But this is the Stila Stale Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Baki, or B-A-C-I. I have no idea if I pronounced it right, so that's why I spelled it. So this is a really beautiful, cool-toned pink liquid lipstick, and I like the Stila formula a lot. I actually haven't been into liquid lipstick as much lately. But this one is really pretty, and I only decluttered it because I wasn't really wearing it, because I just typically don't wear a lot of cool tones, but this is what this looks like, and it's a beautiful color. And I did pick up a couple things while we were shopping. I went to Sephora and Ulta with her. I also went to Bath and Body Works, but I only got, like, car air freshener, so nothing too crazy there. But I've been wanting a colorful matte palette, and I've been eyeing up the Take Me To Brazil palette for a while now, and I figured this is the perfect affordable colorful matte palette so I ended up picking this up at Ulta when I was with Lisa so here is what the palette looks like it has a nice array of colors there's 35 colors in here and it says it's a 35 color pressed pigment eyeshadow palette I used a few of the greens like around here to try to make a look and it was really pretty I also used this on Lisa when I did her makeup I have a picture of that you can check out my Instagram I actually have two now for beauty. I have one that's my actual Courtney K beauty, which I'll link that on the screen as well. But I also recently created a Courtney K MUA page as well. I want to start doing makeup on the side, so you can see Lisa's picture on both of my Instagrams if you want to check them out. But I did use this palette, just the greens on her. Those are the only colors I've played with so far. I haven't played with the rest of the palette, and I don't really want to swatch it because my fingers are like covered in like makeup remover, so I don't want to hard pan anything since it is a newer palette. But it is really pretty. I'm excited to get more use out of it. I feel like I'm so chatty right now because I haven't filmed a beauty video in like a month, so I'm a little bit rusty here. But the other product that I picked up, what well, this is from Sephora, and this is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. I actually recently used one up this summer, and I've repurchased it. I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing a ColourPop lipstick, but this is a sheer pink lip gloss, and it smells so good. It's super comfortable on the lips. I've raved about this lip gloss so many times on my channel, and I just love it so much, so I loved it enough to repurchase it, and I'm so happy I have it again. So those are the products that I picked up, and the ones that Lisa gave me while I was at her house. I had so much fun and can't wait to hang out with her again, so thank you, Lisa. And speaking of Sephora, I actually picked this up at Sephora, and this was in their, like, their travel size section, and this is the Violet Voss La Macaron eyeshadow palette, and it looks like there are... 10 eyeshadows in here and it is one of their mini palettes. This is what it looks like. It is an all metallic, colorful, and neutral eyeshadow palette. And I originally bought this for my makeup kit, but then I tried applying the eyeshadows on people and I was just struggling with them, so I wanted to get some easier eyeshadows to apply on other people. I have applied this beautiful, like, bronzy shade with gold glitter on it on myself and it was so pretty. I did just watch out a few of the shades right here. I tried to pick a variety, so I have some neutrals and some colorful shades, but I don't think the camera's going to do them justice. They do look really pretty on my hand. They don't swatch amazing all the time just because they are a little bit harder packed. Some of them are softer, but for the most part, they're just not as impactful as other eyeshadows that I own. But it is a smaller palette. I think it'll be convenient for traveling and just using on the daily. It won't take up much space on my desk. And then recently... Samantha March collabed with Ofra Cosmetics, which is super exciting because not a ton of smaller creators collab with larger brands like that. So I ended up picking up her collab. This is the Ofra Highlighter March Beauty World collab, and mine actually is getting pretty dirty right now, but this is what the highlighter looks like. So I believe it's a mix of the shades Pillow Talk and Star Island. I love the look of it in the pan. I think it looks like a banana split, which is so cute. There is more of a white yellow toned highlighter and then a pink toned highlighter. So I think it just looks really pretty in the pan. I did end up swatching them out on my hand right here. So this one is them all swirled together. This is the Pillow Talk shade and then Star Island. I haven't gotten a ton of use out of it yet because I was just using other highlighters that I have pan on and just trying to use them up a little bit more. But this one is super pretty and I'm excited to use it more. I think it'll look better on me in the winter because it is pretty icy but... It's a pretty highlighter, and congrats to Samantha for doing a collab with Ofra. 
I picked up the Jordana eyeliner pencil, and this is just in their black shade. And this is what it looks like. I've already used up about half of it because I got this, I think, in like mid-June or late June. And this is a pretty creamy black liner. So that's what it looks like. I just don't love that it is a wooden pencil because I'm just scared that the wooden pieces will get into my eye. But this has been a nice liner so far. I actually did pick up a backup of the Essence liner that I love, which I'll show in a bit. But I just wanted to try something new. I was at Primark in the King Impression Mall and I saw this liner there. I needed a black liner so I just picked it up and it's nice. It's just not as good as other liners that I've tried. And finally we have Ulta products. These are products that I didn't pick up when I was with Lisa so I just thought I would group it in a separate part of the video. So the first thing I have here is Dirty. It is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and this is fairly new. I haven't really used it a ton because I just stopped using my Flower Beauty sponge and I picked up this one and it is a nice sponge. I feel like this sponge doesn't feel as soft as the Flower Beauty one, but I like the shape of this one better. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to go back to after this one is done. This is the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Natural. And this is my shade when I'm tanner. And it currently matches me right now. It matches my chest more than my face. But I really like it. It gives me a dewy, medium to full coverage finish. And I really like it. It's only like 6 bucks. I've gone through probably like 6 bottles of this in the last year and a half that I've been using it. I just love this foundation so much. It's really affordable. And this is actually the foundation that I have in my kit. I'm going to be buying more shades of it. But I just love the finish of this so much. I like this more than I liked the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, which is like a $40 foundation, and this one is $6. They're similar in finish, but I honestly just prefer this one. And then I also mentioned that I picked up the Essence long-lasting eye pencil when I was talking about the Jordana one. So this is my favorite eyeliner, especially for black liners, because it's lost to my waterline really nicely. And the last item that I have, I think, is a fun one. I purchased a Stila Glitter and Glow, and this is in the shade Wanderlust, and I bought this because of Raw Beauty Christy. She raves about it. I don't even know how to describe this glitter, but it is like a pinky gold shade, and it's not super glittery, so I don't love this one as much as other ones that I've tried, but it is a really pretty shade, so this is what Wanderlust looks like. Super, super pretty. So that is it for my collective haul from June to August, and I definitely have a lot of products here that I've been testing out, and I still need to test out a few of them further. But I'm excited to try all these products out, and thank you to Heather and Lisa for giving me some products to try out and use. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I also have a horse channel if you want to check it out. It is called CNK Equestrian. I'll have it linked down below. I also have all my Instagrams listed. I have like four different accounts if you want to follow me on those. Hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will see you guys on my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.